Hi friends, it's Billy the Vehicle Nanny. And as I promised on my Vehicle Nanny page and, and the Facebook Vehicle Nanny page, well, I'll talk about little tips and tricks for keeping your car clean or getting your car clean after a pretty tough winter. You know, as I planned out this video, spring was right around the corner and right now by the time this releases, it will be. Uh, I had no idea that the coronavirus situation was gonna be as bad as it is. So I'm hoping everybody is safe and secure wherever you're at uh, but also this would be a great distraction if you uh, can take your mind off of what's going on in the outside world and kind of take care of your inside world so i'd like to share a couple of tips and a couple of hacks as to how we can clean the interior of your car now all winter long i'm hoping that you guys have been using uh, a car wash of some sort or if you've got a heated garage and you took care of it there phenomenal i'm jealous uh, but I like to go to an automatic car wash that's just down the road from me. I've been going there for 19 years. They do a great job. Uh, soft cloth, doesn't damage the paint. And more importantly, they offer and provide actually an underbody wash so I can get rid of all that salt and crap that's underneath the car. So the car ends up lasting a little bit longer as a result. So that's taken care of pretty much all year long. But the interior is really tough to get to when it's cold out. I get that. Um, but if you can take a couple of extra steps to take care of it now, you'll be able to enjoy your car as spring starts to uh, bl blossom in front of us. So the first thing I'd like to offer up is get yourself a vacuum for your garage. And you may be thinking, what the heck? Can I go get an Auric or something? No. Go get a shop vac or whatever brand suits you. Uh, Lowe's, Home Depot, they all have these nice little canister ones for like $35. They're great. They provide a, what they call a claw, and they also provide, if I can find it, a crevice tool uh, so you can get in between the seat and the console and things of that nature. Keep it in the garage. If it's handy, you're going to use it. So I happen to have one that has about a 20-foot hose attached to the wall of my garage. Yes, I'm that crazy about it, uh, but it works out well. I can open up my car door, do a quick vacuum, and go in the house, and I'm done. Yeah, everyone does that, right? Uh, no, really, it's, it's really worthwhile having. Uh, and you never know when you're out in the garage, you might need to pick up some nails or something like that. Who knows? It, it's good to have in the garage. So you start out, give your car a good vacuuming. There's a lot of crud that's going to collect over those months that you couldn't get to. It was too cold. Uh, take the crevice tool, which I happen to have here. I found it. Uh, you know, obviously it's on the hose. Get all around the shifter, any little cubbies, go across your air conditioning vent. Um, look at your steering wheel. Some of them like this mini has a, a ring that kind of collects some stuff. Get in there. Get all the loose debris up. You'll uh, appreciate that later. And then uh, pull out all the mats. I think you've already done that already. I think I mentioned that. Uh, if you're like me, you use all weather mats, which are rubber during the winter because they don't soak up the, the crud that's on the ground. Take those out, give them a good cleaning with uh, you know, soap and water. I'll, I'll show you some soap I recommend. Uh, and then just start giving a good cleaning. Uh, the interior, I found some great products over the years. Uh, you can buy at AutoZone, you know, Meguiar's makes a lot of good stuff. But the reality is I kind of went back to something that was tried and true. And something my dad taught me to use 40 years ago on the leather sofa in the house. Uh, it's called Murphy's Oil Soap. Now, Murphy's is designed uh, really to clean wood. But if you think about wood and how porous it is, uh, this stuff is really good. You put about a quarter cup in one gallon of warm water, mix it up real good. And then I take a washcloth, get it nice and soaky wet, uh, wring it out, and just start wiping everything down. And I mean everything. If it's a hard surface, clean it. Carpet, fabrics, no, because it's not going to do a good job on that. But wipe it all down really well. Take a nice, clean, dry cloth right behind it. Dry it off. You do not need to rinse this off. Uh, whatever oils are left behind are going to condition these materials. And it really makes the interior smell good to boot. So I love this stuff. I use it all the time. Uh, I actually use it on wood floors, but very rarely. But I love it. I mean, I've got a you know, gallon of it here in the garage. That little bottle was for your display. So go ahead and do all that. Uh, do that for your rubber floor mats if that's what you have. Now, if you use carpeted mats, well, then you probably got a little bit of a mess on your hands. 
So again, I don't like to go out and buy those carpet uh, aerosols because those leave behind a residue. Uh, and that residue, when it's on the floor of your car, is going to attract future dirt really quickly. So I think, again, to household hacks, I like to use this Shout, um, kind of a pre-cleaning that you might use on your clothes. Hey, whatever you might use for fabric on your, you know, on your body, I like to use for fabric in the car. So whether it's your seats, your carpets, your carpet and mats, uh, spray it down liberally, let it soak in. And then I'll come back and I'll, I'll get a bucket of warm water. And I had a small brush here. There it is. A nice soft cloth brush. Give it a nice clean. You know, you know, clean it out good. You know, you're going to have to find a way to rinse it to some degree. So you might want to take another uh, bucket with clean water in it and just wipe this down, kind of um, wipe it through. Uh, sometimes, depending on how bad the winter is, I'll go down to the hardware store and rent one of those Bissell carpet cleaning machines with the attachments and I'll go through all my cars at once. Yeah, I know it's crazy, but I will tell you, it does not take much effort to get our cars clean so that we can appreciate them for a lot of years. And that's why I uh, do this because I really enjoy a new car or at least a car that feels new to me. So those are just a couple of quick tips. Obviously, you're gonna wanna clean your glass. For that, I actually use Windex. I don't create some new concoction or anything else. I do spray it down with some glass cleaner like Windex and then take some newspaper if you are reading newspapers still like I do. Uh, there are people that claim that that print or that ink that's in the newsprint acts as kind of a polish when you clean the glass. I don't know about that, but the newspaper does. It's very absorbent. It really um, does a nice job when you wipe through the, the glass. It does dry off the, the, the Windex. And then, heck, you can recycle the, the newspaper when you're done. So it does a nice job. I, what I've just described should only take you less than 30 minutes the first time. And if you keep up your car uh, every week, just give it a quick you know, wipe down and a quick vacuum. You should be able to do that in 10 minutes easy every week. And then guess what? You've got a car that feels new all the time. So hope this tip was really helpful for you. When the weather gets a little bit nicer outside, I'll show you a couple of tricks I've learned with washing the exterior and some of the materials I use for that might surprise you. So appreciate you tuning in and just keep in mind, if I can do it, you can do it. Thanks again and we'll be talking to you soon.